Hi, this is JP from Not A Lot Over Arkham. Welcome to the next episode of the Return to the Circle Undone playthrough with Wendy Adams. We are at the Union and Disillusion scenario. So, uh, I forgot to mention at the end of the Wages of Sin, we got four, uh, four heretics uh, released into the wild, so we have four Doom at the start of the game. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, we had three experience for Wendy's deck after the greater good scenario, which went pretty well. Uh, I decided to try one of the newer cards, the Nine of Rods, uh, added to the deck. So uh, with this, I have a chance to uh, negate a really bad treachery that comes from the encounter deck or an encounter card. So if it's an enemy, I won't. Don't want to face, I can uh, get rid of that. And this is the only card I uh, added to the deck to make room for it. I removed uh, one of the uh, scout ahead. I haven't played this card uh, a single time in the campaign, so maybe this campaign isn't uh, the right one for this one. So I removed that. Uh, also, we have the lovers tarot card reversed so that means we have to at the be beginning uh, of the game uh, remove one ally asset from our deck so we are removing uh, professor william webb unfortunately but it is what it is uh, we try to manage without uh, the one copy and as i understand it is only the one copy because it doesn't say all copies of it only says uh, each investigator searches their deck for an ally asset, removes it from the game and shuffles their deck. So it's talking in the singular, so we don't have to remove the other copy. So we still have the other one. If we're lucky, we might get that. So just uh, shuffling the new card here uh, into the deck. And uh, other than that, uh, not that much has changed uh, for the returned version. Um, some new um, encounter cards, some acts that uh, we don't have qualification with the results of the campaign so far, so we just ignore those new uh, act cards. And uh, that's about it. There are a bunch of new uh, resolutions, so if we get there, we'll check the campaign booklet for the Return to Circle London. Uh, if we need to, but we are sided with the coven at the, res at the uh, beginning of this scenario, so we have to start uh, unlitting the braziers that are, or braziers, uh, braziers, I think it is the correct pronunciation. Um, we have to unlit those to advance, and we'll see how this goes. So, uh, without further Delay, let's get started. Uh, we draw our opening hand of five cards. And this time we have the mulligan, so that is good. We'll get the old key ring. <laughs> Track shoes, of course, and uh, of peaks and uh, Alter Fate and Waylay. I think I'm just uh, reshuffling the Waylay, and uh, I think we'll go with the lockpicks and fractures on uh, this up in the old key ring. So two cards, we get puzzle box and we get the test of wheel. So that is okay, I think. I think fi uh, first turn we will play the lockpicks, move and investigate the Forbidden Shore. That will be our first turn. Next turn we'll play the track shoes and uh, we have tools for the encounter phase. Unfortunately we didn't get the uh, tarot car at the start so we have to pay for it when it comes. But that is that is okay I think. So first action we will play the lockpicks. Three resources I'll just place over here. 
we'll move to the Forbidden Shore. And um, because there is some mist, uh, we have to unlit this before we can move to the unvin unvisited isle locations from the Forbidden Shore. Uh, Forbidden Shore is a tree shrub location with one clue. Uh, there's a circle action test will or intellect tree to find the brazier by the wooden trail. If you succeed, you may light or unlight the brazier. Mountain, you must either lose one action or lose two resources. There is one clue here, so uh, our objective is to get three clues, so we need those clues at the beginning. Last action, we are using the lockpicks. We are investigating 7 versus 3, so we are four, up by 4. Minus 2, uh, so we are up by 4, we succeed by 2 or more. We don't uh, break a lockpick, so we grab this clue. Next turn we can uh, do the circle action. So, uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw another Ultra Fate, and we gain one wizard. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 5 Doom of 8 in Counter Cardis. It is a Whipper Wheel. Well, of course it is. So, Aloof Hunter, each investigator at Whipper Wheel's location gets minus 1 to or all stats. So, uh, these are so annoying. And. Uh, I'm actually thinking, because those slow us down, so uh, that is an unwe that is not a treachery card, so I can't ignore it, and I don't have the tarot cards to draw. So we are stuck with this annoying bird. First action, we will play the track shoes. Second action. We will uh, we'll just uh, uh, we are testing three versus three. I think we can uh, use the alter fate so four versus three for the uh, circle test. And um, <clears throat> well, the skulls are minus two. Maybe I should... Hmm. Okay, well, I think we need to be up by two. So I'm uh, committing the test of wheel two. It is a zero, so uh, we overcommitted, but it is what it is. We unlit the brazier. These open up, we can move there. But for the last action, I'll just play down the... Uh, puzzle box now, so we don't have to do it later. Because with the puzzle box, uh, unlight the brazier at your location, exhaust the Spectral Watcher, or deal 5 damage to the Spectral Watcher if it is exhausted. This action does not provoke attacks of opportunity from the Spectral Watcher uh, group limit once per game, so this might come into, uh, into use uh, later in the scenario, or earlier than later. Uh, the Vipar Wheel doesn't do anything, so we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, another test of will, gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at seven of eight two, um, six of eight two. Encounter card is <laughs> it is a spectral raven. Uh, alert hunter retaliate. So two 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 uh, lowest intellect prey. Uh, force after spectral raven engages you, you must either resolve each haunted ability on your location or spectral raven gets plus two fight and plus two evade until the end of the investigation phase. The haunted here is you must either lose one action or lose two resources, so... Um, this is so annoying to get all of these enemies right away, because they are hunters and they will bug me for the rest of the scenario. But it is what it is, I think I have to lose an action. I, or we are of evade for even with the whipper wheel, so we could try to evade, but I think I don't have the chances. I'll lose one action for the haunted. Uh, we will evade this uh, spectral raven, and it has <coughs> it has alert, so we need to succeed, so it doesn't hit us. 
the uh, lockpicks has been readied. So let's draw so four versus two elder sign. It is a zero, so we evade. Mm, need to mark this enemy. It stays over here. The last action will move over here. So invisited, uh, unvisited isle. Force route two clues. Circle action test. Uh, uh, combat and agility ten to explore the mossy steps. If you succeed, you may light or unlight the brazier at the top. Your next move action cost cost two actions. It is the haunted. It is a one victory point location. So <laughs> it might be just that we just uh, unlit this one because I really don't see us getting to the end and uh, having to resolve the uh, big uh, 20 difficulty uh, brazier test there, but we'll see. So uh, now uh, that is our investigation phase, enemy phase, the Whipper will hunt here. Upkeep, we draw a card, we get uh, the weakness at Topia, and we gain one resource, uh, Spectral Ruin readies. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 of 8 Doom Encounter Cardies. Death approaches. Search peril. Add death approaches to any investigator's threat area. Pause. When you would take one or more horror, take two additional horror and discard death approaches. So we are stuck with that. And it searches. And uh, it is uh, spec uh, Supernatural Tempest. Hazard Revelation Test. Agility 5, if you fail, choose and discard cards from the play area and or from your hand with the total printed resource scope of at least X, where X is the amount you failed by. Uh, I really don't want to discard anything, so I think I'm uh, ignoring this. Testing 3 versus uh, 3, if I need to exile a test of will. Skull is a uh, minus two uh, it is not a circle action so we just exile a test of will but that is resolved uh, fast action we will also get rid of this one just pay one for it and uh, play during any player window so before we do did that test um, choose and discard from play a non-weakness treachery that is not attached to an elite enemy so i'm just playing that to get rid of this uh, double action uh, we will get rid of this so this is not looking really good uh, last action we will uh, exhaust the lockpicks uh, investigate the seven oh yeah the whipper will uh, we are investigating uh, Four, six versus four only, so not looking really good. Minus one, we break a lockpick, but we get a clue, at least. Uh, enemy face, the uh, Spectral Raven moves here, hits us for one damage and one four, so... Ouch. Upkeep, uh, we draw a card, the, back, uh, the black book, and we gain one risk. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 8 of uh, 8 Doom, so the agenda advances. Stolen Souls. Check the missing person action, uh, section of the campaign log. If at least one character was taken by the Watcher, read the following. Beyond the Spectral Mist, uh, let's check it first. Uh, Penny was taken by the Watcher, so we'll read that. That's, uh, check, uh, beyond the Spectral Mist, an awful scream uh, resounds through the woods. It is distant and uh, though heard through a pane of glass, but distinct enough for you to know it is real. For each uh, character who was taken by the Watcher, place one resource on the Spectral Watcher as a stolen soul. Even if the Spectral Watcher 
is currently out of play. Until the end of the scenario, Spectral Watcher gains the following text. For each stolen soul on the Spectral Watcher, it gets plus one fight and plus one health. Uh, keep this card next to the agenda deck as a reminder and advance to agenda 2A. Agenda 2A, uh, this last agenda. So we have uh, nine more turns to go. Basically, the threshold is 10. Uh, encounter card is. Oh, yeah, I'll put the resource on the Spectral Watcher for first. So. Let's see there. Just place it over here somewhere. Uh, encounter card is. Uh, whispers in the dark. Put whispers in the dark in the play next to the agenda deck. Each location gets haunted. Take one horror. Forced when the round ends. Discard whispers in the dark. Okay. Well, first actions we are using the lock fix. To investigate uh, six versus four. Uh, it is a minus two, so we grab this clue. I think we. Use the puzzle box. So I'm just marking it, it as used. So we can't use it again to get rid of this. Uh, last, oh yeah, and we broke one block pick again. Not going great. Oh yeah, and before all of that, I would be evading this enemy. So let's back up and do that first because I don't want to take the attacks of opportunity. Plus one, so that enemy was evaded before we did anything else. So a bit backseat, but yeah. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, this guy ready, re-engages us. Uh, we draw a card, uh, all key ring, and we gain one resource. That is that turn. Oh yeah, this goes away. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a do. Encounter card for this turn is another spectral <laughs> ray. So, uh, this is getting to be really annoying. We are stuck with these enemies now. Uh, so, nothing we can do about that. I could just take. <laughs> take an early resign action uh, by running to the uh, Mr. Katanic River, so taking two attacks of opportunity and resigning. I think I'll still try. So, okay, so your next move action. Okay, so if we resolve the haunted on this one, uh, we. Okay, we could do that. We could risk it. Oh, the Weeper will is annoying. Uh, this is so annoying. I think we have to try it. So I'm committing. Uh, we don't. Uh, we get this. Let this have plus two evade. Uh, we are evading uh, five versus four, hoping for the best. Minus one. Uh, we got lucky, so we lose that black pool, but we managed to evade. We evade this one. Uh, four versus two. Elder sign. We evade that one. Uh, last action will move to this unvisited. Oil, and it is a uh, circle test. Uh, uh, intellect plus agility 9 to reach the brazier in the center of the spring. If you succeed, you may light or unlight the brazier. Okay, so we are too close here. I think we won't advance yet, so we'll try to clear this advance and see what happens. So, so both of these are left behind. will once here. That is our turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Oh yeah, this 
Razor Steel. Uh, we get another old key ring and we gain one. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a Doom, encounter Cardis. Another enemy, so. <laughs> Okay, I, I think I'm <laughs> giving up. There is just too many enemies for us to handle. Uh, uh, the start of the investigation phase, I'll just spend the clues. We'll see what happens. Because this might... Oh yeah, I think this moves us from away from enemies and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll get the mist returns. Each investigator must randomly choose one of the sub aside unvisited eye locations, put it in the play in front of him or her, and immediately move to that location. Cannot be cancelled. If the investigator slide, sided with the covenant razor at the, those locations is already lit, place a resource token on each of those locations to signify this. Shuffle each of the story cards beneath the scenario reference card and deal one at random to each investigator until all of them have been dealt. If in player order resolve each of these dealt story cards. We get the penny spades. Uh, this might have been a bad idea. We'll see. Well, we shuffle these. Okay. We'll get that one. It is the unvisited isle, uh, stadium stones, uh, standing stones. So, three throughout, two clues, circle test, uh, wheel power, intellect 10 to examine the brazier in front of the standing stone. If you succeed, you may light or unlight the brazier haunted until the end of the round. Increase the difficulty of each skill test during the circle action by two. And uh, okay, so where do I want to place this? Just place it over here. So all of these circle locations are connected to each other, so it's a bit difficult to connect them. They're also all connected to the forbidden shore, so. At least we left the damn Whipper Wheels behind. But I think uh, those two are coming in. Oh yeah, they have readied already. So they would move in and engage us. So this is not looking good. Also, we have to resolve Penny's fate. So check the missing person section of the Campbell log. If Penny disappeared into the mist and you are on Penny's trail, if Penny was claimed by the specters, otherwise you find <coughs> you find Penny's up. Apron lying on the ground, covered in blood. There is no other sign of her, so we just put that away. Okay, and uh, then uh, faded, faded for souls. Uh, each investigator cannot leave the location in front of him or her, so we can't leave here. Uh, before we get those two clues. So that ties our hands, so first action we will investigate using prop fix. Uh, we are nine, we're, uh, eight versus three minus one. Second action will commit both of the key, our key rings. We are five versus three. Zero. We are able to leave this location, so we actually just spend these clues to get this advanced. And uh, from the depths, spawn the Spectral Watcher at the Miskatonic River. Shuffle each, set aside a copy of the Watcher's Grasp and Watcher's Gaze into the Encounter Deck along with the Encounter Discard pile. Return to the location in front of each investigator to the Center of the play area, investigators are no longer prevented from leaving their location. Put the set aside the dice trap location into play. If the investigator is sorry with the coven, the brazier at the dice trap is already lit. There is a resource token on it to signify this. So we get the dice trap. It's over here. But I think uh, we are bolting at this point. So we can't move. Uh, the path leading to the site of the ritual is hidden by the Spectral Mist, you cannot enter the Geist Trap, so uh, there are just too many enemies for us to deal with, so we probably will just bolt at this point. So, uh, there's 
this here. Last action, we are moving to the Forbidden Shore and using the track shoes. And uh, of course, we need to have to shuffle these. We will have to put the Spectral Watcher into play. And uh, spawns at the Miskaton River, so we are running at hit, but it is okay, we can take one hit from it. So uh, we'll shuffle these in here. And uh, then we'll test uh, Agility 5 to see if we can um, move again to the Miskatonic River so we can uh, resign next turn. Also, we don't get those uh, Spectral Ravens on our back. Okay, I think that is enough shuffling. So, testing 5 versus 3, we had, don't have anything to commit, so let's see how this goes. Minus 3, we fail. So, that is really bad. <laughs> we are <laughs> basically... Uh, well, well, not completely... Well, yeah, we, we are pretty much screwed here, but... Uh, enemy face, this hunt here, engage us, hit us for a total of 3 damage, 3 horror. And that is, oh yeah, and the Whipper Wheels also come join the fawn. So we have uh, 5 enemies at our location. And <laughs> We are nearly dead, so that is uh, that turn upkeep. We draw when this amulet and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. I pretty much think this will be the last turn of the game. Uh, we add a doom and counter card for this turn is eager for death. Test willpower 2, increase the skill test difficulty by 1 for each damage on you. You will take 2 or <laughs> Committing the Wendy's amulet to the test, uh, so we are four versus two. Oh yeah, these are ready. Uh, let's see, two Weeper wheels. We are at two. We have four damage, so four uh, minus. So it's uh, six. Yes, four versus two. Yeah, I think we're not even committing the Wendy's amulet. Yeah, we're just failing this. Minus three, we'll take two or we are uh, one or away from getting defeated. So that is that. Um, first action, evading uh, one of the spectral. Well, I think we're just moving and uh, dying. Well, let's see. Uh, evading the spectral. Raven. So, um, three versus two. Minus two. Uh, we fail. We die. So we take one uh, because it has alert. So one horror, one damage, and that is enough to defeat us. So we'll take a mental trauma, and that is the end of the scenario. Uh, let's see the resolution. Uh, we at least got two victory points, so there's that. If no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. Uh, skip to resolution 5. Resolution 5. Check camp and log. Compar uh, I'll actually have to check if we have a new uh, entry port 5 resolution. No, so we don't need this. Okay. Uh, resolution 5. Check campaign log, compare the following two columns uh, to see uh, which has the most true statements. The witch's spell was broken, no. The investigator rescued Joseph, no. He, one or fewer heretics were unleashed into, the, uh, into Arkham, uh, true. Uh, the witch's spell was cast, no. Joseph disappeared in the mist, yes. And two or more heretics, so we'll follow this one. 
So we go to resolution 7. Uh, in your camper log record, uh, an animation is possessed by evil. Uh, wait, yeah. Proceed to resolution 8. If an investigator deck contains the puzzle box card, remove it from that investigator's deck. Check the missing person section camper log. Uh, well, finished it. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory value of each card in the victory display, and that is true. So, Penny is dead, uh, and it is a Super Saiyan from this point on, and we get to experience and a mental trauma. So, that, that was Union and Dissolution. Uh, next up, we have In the Clutches of Chaos, which is basically Arkham Pandemic. So, we'll see how that goes, hoping to get uh, maybe a couple of experience out of that one before we head to the return to the um, before the black throne, but we'll see how that goes next time. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.